Is Enki real? Is Nibiru real? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is an Oxford-translated Sumerian tablet that is thousands of years old. I'm going to go ahead and read this to you now. It's called Enki's Journey to Nibiru. In those remote days when the fates were determined, and a year when Anne brought about abundance and people broke through the earth like green plants, then the lord of the Abzu, King Enki, Enki, the lord who determines the fates, built up his temple entirely from silver and lapis lazuli. Its silver and lapis lazuli were the shining daylight into the shrine of the Abzu. He brought joy and artfully made bright crenellation rising out from the Abzu was erected for Lord Nudamud. He built the temple from precious metal, decorated it with lapis lazuli, and covered it abundantly with gold. In Eridu, he built the house on the bank. Its brickwork makes utterances and gives advice. Its eaves roar like a bull. The temple of Enki bellows during the night. The temple praises its lord and offers its best for him. Before Lord Enki, Izumud, the minister praises the temple. He goes to the temple and speaks to it. He goes to the brick building and addresses it temple built from precious metal and lapis lazuli, whose foundation pegs are driven into the Abzu, which has been cared for by the prince of the Abzu. Like the Tigris and the Euphrates, it is mighty and awe-inspiring. Joy has been brought into Enki's Abzu. Your lock has no rival. Your bolt is a fearsome lion. Your roof beams are the bull of heaven and artfully made bright headgear. Your reed mats are like lapis lazuli decorating the roof beams. Your vault is a bull raising its horns. Your door is a lion who seizes a man. Your stairway is a lion who coming down on a man. Abzu, pure place which fulfills its purpose. E, and Gura, your lord has directed his steps towards you. Enki, lord of the Abzu, has embellished your foundation pegs with carnelian. He has adorned you with an lapis lazuli. The temple of Enki is provisioned with holy wax. It is a bull obedient to its master, roaring by itself and giving advice at the same time, E and Gura, which Enki has surrounded with a holy reed fence, in your midst a lofty throne is erected. Your door jam is the holy locking bar of heaven. Abzu, pure place, place where the fates are determined, the Lord of Wisdom, Lord Enki, the Lord who determines the fates, Nudamit, the Lord of Eridu, lets nobody look, into its mist. Your Avgal priests let their hair down their backs. Enki's beloved Eridu, E, and Gura, whose inside is full of abundance, Abzu, life of the land, beloved of Enki, temple built on the edge, befitting the artful divine powers. Eridu, your shadow extends over the midst of the sea, rising sea without a rival, mighty awe inspiring river, which terrifies the land. E, and Gura, high citadel, standing firm on the earth temple at the edge of the Angur. A lion in the midst of the Abzu, lofty temple of Enki, which bestows wisdom on the land. Your cry, like that of a mighty rising river, reaches King Enki. He made the lyre, the algar instrument, the balag drum with the drumsticks. The lyre, the algar instrument, the balag drum, of your sir priests. Your lyre and algar instrument, the balag drum with the drumsticks. The lyre, the algar instrument, the balag drum, and even the plectrum, the hahar, the sabatum, and the miratum instruments offer their best for his holy temple. They were sounded by themselves with a, seats, with a sweet sound. The holy Algar, instrument of Enki, played for him on his own seven singers sang. Tiggy drums resounded when Enki says. What Enki says 
is irrefutable. As well established, this is what Ismid spoke to the brick building he praised, the E and Gura with sweet songs. As it has been built, as it has been built, as Enki has raised Eridu up, it is an artfully built mountain which floats on the water. His shrine spreads out into the reed beds, birds brood, and its green orchards, orchards, nanny nanny, laden with fruit. The Sahur carp play among the honey herbs, and the Estab carp dart among the small gizzy reeds. When Enki rises, the fish rise before him like waves. He has the Abzu stand as a marvel, as he brings joy into the Ingur. Like the sea, he is awe-inspiring. Like a mighty river, he instills fear. The Euphrates rises before him, as it does before the fierce south wind. His punting pole is Nara. Imdudu, his oars are the small reeds. When Enki embarks, the year will be full of abundance. The ship parts of its own accord, with tow rope held by itself. As he leaves the temple of Eridu, the river gurgles to its lord. It sounds as a calf's mooing, the mooing of a good cow. Enki had oxen slaughtered and had sheep offered there lavishly. Where there were no ala drums, he installed some in their places. Where there were no bronze oob drums, he dispatched some to their places. He directed his steps on his own to Nibru and entered the temple terrace, the shrine of Nibru. Enki reached for the beer. He reached for the liquor. He had liquor poured into big bronze containers and had emmer wheat beer pressed out in Kukaru. Containers which make the beer good, he mixed beer mash. By adding date syrup to its taste, he made it strong. <laughs> he, it's bran mash. In the shrine of Nibru, Enki provided a meal for Enlil, his father. He seated on at the head of the table and seated Enlil next to on. He seated Nintur in the place of honor and seated the Anuna gods. At the adjacent places, all of them were drinking and enjoying beer and liquor. They filled the bronze agave vessels to the brim and started a competition drinking from the bronze vessels of Eurus. Not to be confused for swamp gas from Uranus. Bingo! That's right, I said it. Nanu, nanu. They made the Tilimda vessels shine like holy barges after beer and liquor had been lib libated and enjoyed and after from the house, Enlil was made happy in Nibru. Enlil addressed the Anuna gods, great gods who are standing here, Anuna, who have lined up in the Ubsu. Unkina, my son, King Enki, has built up the temple. He has made Eridu rise up, come out from the ground like a mountain. He has built in a pleasant place in Eridu, the pure place, where no one is to enter, a temple built with silver and decorated with lapis lazuli a house which tunes the seven TG drums properly and provides incantations where holy songs make all the house a lovely place. In the shrine of the Abzu, the good destiny of Enki, befitting the elaborate divine powers, the temple of Eridu built with silver for all this. Father Enki, be praised! I would like to give credit to Oxford University and the project members of this translation by a Sumerian tablet available at etcsi.orinst.ox.au.uk. I'll leave the links in the video description box. This could be 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 years old. It could be even older than that. And do you know what's fascinating? Enki, Enlil, the Anuna gods, the Abzu, Nintur, I've really done a lot of a lot of meditation and deep thought recently into the the sun and the stars and the planets and the deities that are linked to these stars and the sun and these energies like Marduk that's being linked to the sun. When you look at the sun and you harness the energy of the sun, does that mean that Marduk is the power of the sun? No. 
not in my opinion. I think that these tablets that talk about Enki, Enlil, Eridu, kings and queens, and those that are linked to specific celestial objects and gods and goddesses, I think that certain deities and certain kings and queens and pharaohs and those with power would connect themselves to the power of the sun or a star or a planet and say, that is me. I am, I am the sun. I am Adu. Pray to me. When you say amen, 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 you are praying to me. Well, if you believe that, then I feel you are projecting and funneling energy into that. But that doesn't mean Marduk is the sun. Far from it, ladies and gentlemen. The sun, the sun of our solar system, the powers, plants, life, helps the world go round, literally. <laughs> Isn't controlled by Marduk, in my opinion. I feel that these tablets and aristocrats would take a scribe, pay them a lot of money, and say, hey, I want you to connect the sun to me because I am king, and people should worship me because I am the divination of the sun of our solar system. I provide life to all of you. I feel that that has been manipulated by money, by power, by greed, and as well as ignorance because people need to understand that a 7,000-year-old tablet, just because it's 7,000 years old, just because it's 70,000 years old, doesn't make it true. It could be a 70,000-year-old National Enquirer, not National Geographic. And some feel that the National Geographic is sometimes parallel to the National Enquirer. You know, it's just a matter of opinion. But once again, give credit to where credit is due. Thank you very much, Oxford University and Scholars, for translating this. And key to Nibiru. What is Nibiru? Where is Nibiru? Is Nibiru actually just an ancient Sumerian city? And is Nibiru different than Nibiru? Where is the data? I want to see some solid data to Nibiru. And what is Nibiru? Is Nibiru just a city? Is Nibiru just somebody's imagination? Is Nibiru a giant hoax? Or is Nibiru actually a spaceship? I mean, look at these weird Sumerian tablets that show these planets and stars and then this weird spaceship with Anu, sometimes Anu and Enki Enlil, piloting the vessel. I think that Nibiru, or that symbol that is in these ancient tablets, is some type of spaceship. Now, that's just my opinion, and you can take with it what you want. It's an opinion. You know what opinions are worth, don't you? They're not worth that much. Let's just put it that way. But question everything. Be the change you want to see. Make sure to subscribe to leakproject.com. Become a premium member. And also go to youtube.com slash clandestine time lord. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button. If you want to become a premium member at leakproject.com, you'll get access to over 1,200 podcasts, downloadable, streamable, ad-free, and dozens of premium podcasts only available for premium members there's a special right now. It's like $4 and some change a month or $50 for the year. If you want to just do it month to month, it's $10 a month. Or you can always listen to the shows at youtube.com slash clandestine time lord. But if you go to leakproject.com, you'll get access to even more. That is my shameless plug. Be excellent to each other. You know, I think I'm going to talk for just a few more seconds here because in just a moment, it's going to hit 11-11. Right now it's 11-10. Who controls the past now controls the future. Who controls the past now controls the future. Who controls the present now? Now justified. Rage against the machine. These dudes definitely know what's going on. And they knew 20 years ago. 25 years ago. I remember listening to these cats when I was like 15. Rage against the machine. It's 11-11. Be the change you want to see.